as you can see this is kind of the base model um, for this one you can get that front grille bumper bar and then this one also has the LED lighting on the bottom there on and on the sides and it also has the spotlights up there on the dash as well commuting from one destination to another is an expensive affair here in the USA on the roads you will hardly notice anyone walking on foot. Though there is a reliable transport system, getting to the bus station or train station may be difficult. It is therefore essential for a new immigrant to have reliable personal means of transport. The first step of owning a car is to acquire a driving license. Anybody above the age of 16 and with the right legal status is able to get a USA driver's license. However, this is subject to passing the necessary exams. To acquire a driver's license, you must apply for it at the local Department of Motor Vehicles or DMV. Some states have different names for DMV. For example, in Pennsylvania, DMV is called PennDOT. Once you acquire your driver's license, the next step will be to identify a car of your choice. It depends on the size of your family, but it could be um, a big SUV like this, or it could be more of a commuter car for better fuel economy, but we got you covered here with Heritage or Model. There is a variety of cars here in the USA, and it only depends on your needs and how much you are willing and able to spend. Family size is also another factor. For instance, you may require a seven-seater car if you have a large family. Seven-seater cars are also called third row cars. A vehicle that, fe uh, that features uh, your benefits. So for your instance, you wanted a third row seating that had a lot of seats um, and was good on gas mileage and everything like that. Pretty much you gotta figure out what benefits you with the vehicle and in your price range and then go from there. Weather is also another factor. With the ever-changing climatic conditions, most people will opt for a four-wheel drive or an all-wheel drive car. This will drive you through the snows of winter and the soaring temperatures of summer. The car must also have a working air conditioning system. This is very important especially when you want to cool or heat the car whenever weather conditions change. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Most people here use the GPS to aid in navigating around. It would therefore be perfect for you to consider an inbuilt GPS system as you settle on the car of your choice. One would expect a new car to be more expensive. However, I was surprised to note that here, used cars are as expensive as new ones. Uh, Trade-in value is going low. Um, we're seeing used cars uh, going down one to two percent uh, every week um, and inventory is small so used cars on the lot are obviously a little bit higher because they're in high demand and if you don't want to wait three to six months for a factory order then you have to pick what's on the lot um, and that's why the used cars are a little bit higher for what they are right now. The term pre-owned is used to refer to used cars. They are dealer certified, meaning they are as good as new. And certified pre-owns are 2018 and newer with 70,000 miles or less. They get an extended warranty through our vehicles. Uh, we service every single vehicle here before they are taken out of the lot. We detail, we do all that stuff here. Most people wishing to buy a car usually search for it on the internet. For me, this seemed complicated and I had to walk from one dealer to another in search of a car. This is because car dealerships are the obvious choice for both new and used cars. Welcome to Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Thornton, Redline PA. Uh, my name is Regan, I'm a salesman here. Um, we have a load of products here. We have a great lot, used cars, new cars. I sampled a variety of cars and it was not easy to make a decision because all of them were nice. Talk of Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, to name but a few. Uh, for our lot, it's Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Those are our obviously the cars that we bring in. Um, from there, I would say the Grand Cherokee, 
uh, the Chrysler um, Pacifica, uh, the, any of the Jeep products really. Um, the Durango is a really good vehicle right now um, to own. It's uh, up to seven, uh, seven seats. Uh, you got captain's chairs and everything like that. Uh, it's kind of all your preference on what you uh, would like for your features and everything. Um, the vehicles up there are the Wrangler. So if you're an off-roading, like the top down, like the windows down, that's a good vehicle for you as well. My friend settled for a new car, zero mileage. He couldn't hide his joy. This was something he could have never imagined back home in Kenya. <laughs> so how does it feel to drive a new car in America? Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. It's beautiful. For me, a pre-owned seven-seater car was my choice because I needed that space. Once you identify the car of your choice, the next step is financing. The easiest way to buy a car is with cash. However, being a new immigrant, cash resources will not be readily available and the only option will be asset financing. Um, so for your instance, um, you had your own financing. So uh, how that works is you find a vehicle that you like on the lot, then uh, we go back into the office, we'll put you in our system, then we send you a purchase agreement to your bank, then your bank signs off on that, and then from there we sign a paper saying we will give them the title as soon as uh, we get the check. Then uh, you sign off on the paperwork and then we send your bank uh, uh, the title after we go through the processing. Um, and then after that, um, we do work with 25 different banks. It is harder to get financing as an immigrant, especially since you do not have a credit history. In my case, and without credit history, the employer was my guarantor. Even with a guarantee from the employer, the financial required more documentation such as proof of identity, US visa, social security number, proof of residence, income, and insurance. The vehicle information such as the purchase price, the vehicle identification number, or VIN, the year of manufacture, make, and model were also required. The next step was to register the car. Every state in the U.S. requires that a car should be registered. Registration is the documentation that you have paid registration taxes and fees on your car and it gets you your license plate and registration documents. Surprisingly, in some states such as Pennsylvania, it is not a requirement for vehicles to have the front registration plates. They are only displayed at the back. Most states require that you register your car within a certain period of time. In most cases, the dealership will handle the registration process and mail the registration to your address. We make the car processing uh, as easy as possible here. Um, we love our staff here. We love our service. Um, our service is excellent. Our staff is excellent. Um, we sell great vehicles here. Um, highly recommended. Uh, we are number one in customer satisfaction surveys, which uh, if you buy a new vehicle, um, we are the top in this area for those surveys. Thank you for watching this edition of Eyeing the Dream. If you love my story, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. My name is Bonventure and this is Moving Pictures Kenya telling stories that inspire Africa.